back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Simon. I have gained literally 20 pounds in 2019. So this year I made a vow to myself to be more conscious and aware of what I'm intaking. Um, I'm not saying at all that I eat unhealthy, it's just I eat too often. I decided to start the series where every week I'll show you guys the different things that I eat every week, the different types of diets that I try every week, just to see what sticks to me. And I'm hoping if I share this with you guys that you guys might find something that you might like and that you could stick to that, that could help you on your weight loss journey as well. So this week I'm trying the Mediterranean diet. In this video, I'm only going to show you what I eat today in my day but if you want more recipes or more ideas of what you could eat on a mediterranean diet head over to my instagram and on my instagram i'm going to be posting my meals this diet is primarily plant-based not only is it primarily plant-based but it's a diet that consists of only fish poultry no red meat it's based on eating a lot of fruits and vegetables whole grains and nuts and using healthy fats like olive oil and avocado oil and getting rid of any refined saturated fats like butter and instead of using salt using herbs um, and spices to flavor your food as opposed to using salt to flavor your food it also includes drinking a moderate amount of red wine um, as opposed to alcohol liquor and exercising every single day as I try this diet I'll be working out five days a week as well as drinking my wine in moderation uh, I do not eat fish I'm allergic actually so I'm only going to stick with eating poultry or shrimp I know it's weird I can't eat fish I'm allergic but for some odd reason I can have shrimp don't ask. If you're interested in knowing what I'm eating today and what meals are incorporated into the Mediterranean diet, keep watching. So I went grocery shopping this morning and I purchased um, all of my food for this week. So I have uh, some fruits um, here, some avocado healthy fats, oranges, bananas. Um, I every morning, every morning I have yogurt. Um, so I have this so delicious banana, strawberry banana yogurt, um, and I have a bunch of like different flavors. Um, I have some veggies, so I'm going to have salads for dinner or lunch. Um, so I made sure to get some kale, spinach, um, lettuce, obviously, um, some mushrooms. Um, I always the only thing that I drink juice wise is pineapple juice or water or apple juice so I bought some pineapple juice just for if I'm craving something sweet I bought some rotisserie chicken because I didn't feel like making a whole chicken uh, to make like pulled chicken or um, add it for like a sandwich or something I ran out of peanut butter so I got some more peanut butter a bottle of red wine um, snacks I have some planting chips, sunflower seeds, and um, almond and cashew trail mix. I also have um, blue corn tortilla chips. These are the only tortilla chips that I eat. Um, I don't know, I just love them so much. For dinner, um, I plan to sometimes have um, some soup for dinner. Um, I also have some pita bread here. Um, this pita bread, I plan to use it for um, sandwiches. I also plan to make some pasta, so I got some whole wheat pasta and some chicken breast. For breakfast, I always have this breakfast bowl. Greek yogurt is an important part of the Mediterranean diet. It's low in sugar and high in probiotic cultures. I try to stay away from as much dairy as possible, so I substitute it for dairy-free coconut yogurt, followed by chia seeds that give me 40% of my daily fiber, nuts for added healthy fat, and strawberries for more fiber. I normally add protein granola on top, but I ran out. For lunch, I'm having a kale salad and making my own olive oil dressing. The foundation of the Mediterranean diet is veggies, fruits, herbs, healthy fats, and whole grains. 
Olive oil is used a lot in the diet and has been found to lower cholesterol levels. I added apple cider vinegar because I like the taste and it helps you lose weight and reduces belly fat. Organic honey for sweetness. Dijon mustard for flavor. Nutritional yeast to make it more creamy. It also adds a boost of nutritional value and protein. Also, dry herbs to bring out the taste. I added a pinch of salt. I know it's minimal salt in this diet, but everything needs just a little bit of salt and I wasn't gonna leave it out here. Now it's time for dinner, and as the Mediterraneans do it, we're having pasta. I'm using a whole grain pasta, store-bought Alfredo sauce. I'm going to add spinach to have my veggie intake for the day, and chicken breast for added protein. The chicken breast I season with dry herbs like oregano, basil, sazon, and garlic. And that's it, y'all. I want you guys to know that no diet is sustainable unless it's a lifestyle change. The Mediterranean diet is a diet that's not actually a diet because you don't have to deprive yourself from anything. All things are eaten in moderation. If you try this, I hope it helps you move into a healthier way to consume food. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Also, share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. See you later.